What is happening, great people? It's Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, and today let's explore Russia together and take a look at how the things actually look. I myself usually make outdoor videos more often in Moscow because I live here, sometimes in the provincial Russia. But what is interesting is that as long as I show some modern places, yeah, something that looks quite fresh, people get surprised. I see a lot of comments about people wondering like, oh, I thought that actually you had no development throughout the last 10, 20, 30, 50 years. And basically Russia overall, right now looks like the USSR. I myself am not able to travel throughout the whole Russia despite the fact that I live in Russia. But the great instrument that we all have are maps with some panoramic views from different years and this is exactly what we'll be doing today. Interesting thing about this exercise is that we actually are not going to use the Google Maps but the Russian web page called Yandex which has its own maps services. Google Maps are all right and they do have the panoramic views however as far as I understood the variety of the years the footage throughout the time in Russia in Google is less than in Yandex. And the last thing to say is that I actually don't have any saved spots. Yeah, so this video is not going to be about showing only the good places with some kind of progress throughout the years or bad places or whatever. No, we are just going to visit some random places in Russia, both big cities and small cities, and see everything with our own eyes. To go to Yandex Maps, you can Google them. Yeah, and type in Yandex Maps and you will see the first link here. And so here we are. I have the English language preset and press here to see the panoramic views. Here we have a lot of different views and actually what is better in Yandex is that there are a lot of views from hot air balloons, so to say. Maybe it is drones, I don't know, yeah, but you can take a look at the city from a lot of different angles from the above. Let's begin with Moscow and then we'll go to more distant, distant places. So if we go to the center of the city and press here, for example, next to the Kremlin, yeah, here we can see the footage from 2021. Oh, there is a lot of footage here. 2020, 2018, yeah, and you may see that the things actually looked more simple in 2021, like these new pedestrian lines, and everything looks quite clean, quite nice, and here is the new park, Zaredia, 2019, yeah, it was already built back then, in 2017, it was only under construction, 2013, for example, no way, and 2008, yeah, that's right in front of the Kremlin, you can see the quality of the road. And we are back to the same spot in 2022, yeah, everything looks nice and clean. Alright, let's go somewhere a bit in the north, for example here, just random place. 2020 is the latest version, 2013, oh, actually, oh, yeah, that, that, that looks really nice. That's exactly how usually Russia is depicted. And they decided not to build a building. Yeah, this is funny, like the progress backwards, yeah, so... In 2013 the building was present and in 2020 it's only beginning to be built. Russian apartment of the Benjamin Button. Yeah, at least there were some lines in the roads in 2020 they are missing. But I suppose this is because of the new asphalt just being put. And yeah, what is interesting here is that, I don't know how to call that, but this is something that I witnessed myself in Moscow throughout the last years. Like, it has been more and more developed for people, uh, for example, those who ride wheelchairs. And I suppose if you travel through the Moscow yourself, yeah, like I'm doing right now, you will see that this kind of pavements, they are more and more built throughout the last years. I myself have two kids, we have strollers, and this part of the development is definitely something I appreciate. But again, we are talking about the big city like Moscow. So, okay, for example, let's go somewhere in south. Oh, we are inside the building. Actually, it looks like school. How did they... Yeah, so this is English lesson. How did they actually make this panoramic view inside the school? We can walk through the school, actually. So this is a medical room, yeah, with a doctor. In schools usually we have a doctor or at least a nurse. This is a place for PE lessons and as well music. What are they doing there? Running and singing at the same time. <laughs> let's go further, let's go further. But overall, look, it, it looks not bad. Yeah, it looks not bad, I think quite nice. Maybe it is actually a kindergarten, because take a look at the design of these. Yeah, English can be taught at the preschools here. Let's go somewhere to the outskirts. Uh, here, for example, let's go here. 2018, yeah, looks clean, but at the same time quite, yeah, like, this is usually something that I see in the Western movies, 2000, no, more like this, yeah, 2013, everything is gray, everything is uh, very depressing, how it's usually said, 2021, there are more colors, yeah, understand that this is summer, and basically there is more green here in the background, but anyway, looks more nice, and again, this uh, not that well made here, but well made here, if we're talking about the wheelchairs. 2018, yeah, it was present. 2015, was present. 
and as well the yeah it was present throughout the time 2010 uh yeah actually uh, this part of the city was always developed as far as i see however in 2015 they had this yellow lines in 2018 2021 no interesting these are anyway some soviet neighborhoods yeah all the buildings that you saw they are coming from the 20th centuries usually if we're talking about the development right now in moscow yeah it's more about the outskirts because more and more modern apartment blocks are being built there one of the districts where i was filming somewhere here yeah so that's what, what was happening in 2018 basically just a field then it was some construction yeah new apartment blocks and in 2021 they are already uh built and yeah the new road and it already has the scattered uh this lines <laughs> funny but anyway the apartments look nice some of you might remember this view from one of my videos yeah quite uh, quite nice with a pond the new buildings these look like the new apartment blocks let's take a look 2018 yeah oh by the way this building was not present yeah so actually it's a fresh one 2021 2018 2015 for example yeah everything looks a lot more first of all gray and secondly just empty i believe that this is the abandoned something yeah because they have this old fence here i don't think that it was yeah like in 2013 it was the same 2012 it was the same 2009 yeah, it seems like actually there were some abandoned buildings, however, this one looks like as if they never built it till the end. And this awful fence. Ta-da! 2021 looks a lot more nice. Let's go somewhere, I don't know, here. Bah! Yeah, yeah, that's the greatness. That really happens during the winters. A lot of grey snow, so to say, don't drink yellow. Okay, before we leave, let's take a look at some hot air balloons views. Yeah, this looks interesting. Some development, as far as I see it. And not bad. Some new apartment blocks are being built. Some other development here. Let's go here. Oh, that's quite dark. Nice, but dark. Sunset. This one, other spot. Not bad. Reminds me of St. Peter a little bit, by the way. And uh, Moscow City is here. By the way, let's go next to it. Uh, that's another spot. They are doing some canoe swimming here. The river and yeah, we need to go here. Yeah, here it is, the daylight view. And here we are. What a nice view. And this is the building actually is called Evolution as far as I remember. Because it looks like a DNA. Somewhere in the outskirts. You see, we have a lot of big forests. Yeah, we have a lot of parks. Moscow is actually quite a green city. And despite the fact that many can say that we have this old Soviet houses and etc. We don't live in the concrete jungle because there are a lot of trees like everywhere. Like, look here. Like, look here. Look here. Look here. How many trees? Let's go to provincial Russia. And here we are. Let's go. Let's go away from Moscow and go just randomly, I don't know, Perm. Uh, so basically here is the city center as far as I understand it. Probably more people live here. So let's click here randomly. Uh, <laughs> nice, 2010-2011, yo, yeah, in 2011 it looked a lot, a lot more great, but probably it was autumn, yeah, so in 2020, still, this type of road, not asphalt, but actually they don't put asphalt like everywhere, usually when we are talking about private houses like this, yeah, asphalt is not something you always expect, at least here is a bit yeah this is a bit better 2020 looks all right 2017 mm, not bad a lot of ninja turtle houses well they are still present actually 2014 and 2011 yeah like overall what i see is that Overall, what I see is that, of course, the quality of the asphalt is getting better throughout the years. Yeah, it is probably not the best because you may see this on the asphalt, but still, like I was personally witnessing that development in Moscow. And actually, Moscow, during my childhood, looked worse than uh, what I'm showing here. Yeah, I remember that. In some places in my neighborhood, it looked a lot less developed. 
Let's pick another city. Zoom out from Perm and just randomly, I don't know, Tambov. Tambov and let's go to the city center. Maybe it is here. All right, 2020, 2016. Yeah, again, like take a look at the quality of the asphalt back then and right now. Yeah, right now it's not the best, definitely. But it still looks more smooth, so to say. Yeah, in, in 2011, I believe, it actually looks not bad. Like, these small spots, the, that is not a big of an issue in Russia. I know that in some countries, like, the quality of the asphalt, you know, there are a lot of high standards. Siberia. For example, okay, well, let's, I don't know, well, what do we have here? Abakan. Abakan. Oh. Randomly go here, 2021. 2017. Actually, it seems like the road was more wide in 2021. No, the same one, two, three, four lanes, but something is specific about 2021 because it seems like in 2021 there was a grand uh, refurbishment everywhere because they don't have this yellow and uh, white lines and the asphalt looks more fresh. Yeah, so probably they have not put those lines yet. Let's go to the another district somewhere, I don't know, here. Yeah, Provincial Russia as it is, 2017. Well, yeah, it is hard to see the development when, even if, for example, these fences, yeah, started to look better. This is not something that the public uh, services did. Yeah, because basically here we are taking a look at the private houses, so it's responsibilities of the owners. All right, let's go further to Ulan Ude, for example. Some random place. And, bah, a lot of light. Again, I know there are some lines here, but in 2017 there were some lines here, but more cracks in the roads. 2010, uh, yeah, like in Jason Bourne movie. But these buildings, for example, I guess that overall maybe nothing changed, because, like, they still have this uh, white line, this is just bricks, in 2021. It just looks better because of the camera quality, I suppose. Let's go to the far east, for example, Magadan. So in Magadan, here is the central district, as far as I understand, 2017. Um, yeah, hello there. Unfortunately, only the version from 2017. Let's take a look here as well, 2017. Some things could be improved. But actually, if you go, like, even not that far from Moscow, like, let's get back to Moscow, for example, and let's, I don't know, go to some small place, Ravinska, which is probably not a small place, but anyway. Yeah, so the only difference maybe that you can see here is those pavements and maybe these, these nice fences. However, yeah, in the provincial Russia they do exist as well. Let's go to the main street here. Yeah, 2021, 2018, 2000. 15 the roads looked not bad actually smaller places like this one for example Yeah, the, the road is nice by the way nice 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 nice. Let's go here For example, yeah, so that's what I was talking about when we are talking about some private houses even the, the good ones the asphalt might be Not in place the city of Engels, but let's go to the city of Saratov where I am filming somewhere hot air balloon and yeah, that's how wide the Volga River is, but I want some summer views like here. Can we actually go to the next to the... Oh, unfortunately, no, there, everything was under construction actually, 2018. Yeah, you don't see it here because the actual spot where the people are walking that many miles, yeah, is right next to the river. Maybe from here we could see it. Yeah, and it seems like in 2021 they were making the great refurbishment. Because I was there this year, they have rebuilt a lot. And now this place looks amazing. The center of Serata, for example, 2021, 2018. Uh, the roads, the roads, the roads. Yeah, so the roads actually were developed throughout the time. Yeah, but so let's see another spot here, for example. Yeah, great, 2021. They are making some new asphalt here, some pedestrian walks, and that's another thing that I did manage to see during this year. Like, a lot of construction works were being done in 2021 and as well in 2022. You know what, guys, let's make some interesting thing here. Let's go to Google. 
let's go to Google and let's have this panoramic view switched on and let's take a look at some other places like absolutely random. I don't know. Okay. For example, here, Zagreb for Slovenia. And you can see as well, yeah, some cracks, etc. But that's not a big problem. Yeah, what I want to find is different years. Let's try here, for example. And as well, it's just 2011. So it seems like Google is not operating not only in Russia well, but as well in Europe. Okay, just randomly, I don't know, Bulgaria. And there is some place, Pazarjik, Pazarjik. Let's click here. And other view. Yeah, we have another view from 2012. What changed? What changed? There were some graffiti and the building was looking quite scattered. And in 2019, oh, look, it looks quite the same and as well some graffiti. Talking about the roads, well, not that much difference. I don't know, some Western Europe, like basically, I don't know, Belgium. Let's go to big city like Brussels. Just somewhere randomly here, for example. Uh, wow, well, quite an occupied place. Nice, they are doing some refurbishment as well, I can see that. In 2009 it looked not bad, not bad actually. In 2017, for example, it looked... Well, I see so many graffitis in Europe actually. In Russia there are not that many of them. Some place nearby, I don't know, Ghent, if I pronounced it correctly. I don't know, let's go here. Looks nice, looks nice. And different street view, 2019, 2013, for example. Roads look not bad in 2020. They look a bit better, by the way. I like the colors more. Yeah, but anyway, if we're talking about some development, like basically this thing is the same. Yeah, so anyway, just let's check out a couple of more spots. For example, for example, I don't know, in the US. Like absolutely, I don't know, here, for example, uh, blah, 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 blah. Small city called Adair. And there is a street view from September 21 and as well, September 2009. The camera is, yeah, definitely not the best, but we can try to take a look at some details. And, well, something changed, but overall, overall, overall. So this small cracks with some grass inside. Yes, so actually quite the same. And I don't know, let's take a look at some big city, for example, Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas, why not? I have no idea where the casinos are, but I don't know, randomly, let's go here. And what we see here is, is that we don't have any other years available so let's go somewhere else here for example and looks not bad not bad and do we have some other years yeah 2017 and we have 2019 all right not bad as for this post and this road policeman as we call it in russia here was it present yeah it was present Maybe at the big road we'll see the bigger difference. And there are more views, like, let's see the latest one. November 21, here it is. And, for example, May 2013. Well, not that big of a difference. Once again, so there are small white spots here. In 2021, they are as well present. But you can definitely see that they were rebuilt, yeah, because they couldn't be that white, yeah, throughout all these years. I, by the way, have absolutely no idea what the meaning of these things is. You can ask me why did I decide to go to other countries and see what's up there. Well, actually, as far as I just realized, because I've never been to these places, is that, yeah, there is some progress, but sometimes it is very, very slow and it can be applicable for any country, especially if we're talking about the provincial parts of the country. So I think it is quite wrong to say, like, for example, this country is stuck in time and everybody else is developing, yeah, because basically it all depends on some exact places in exact country in exact town exact city by the way if you have some interesting spots to share with us just leave the coordinates in the comment section and either it is some great development or vice versa or maybe some funny situations like you know sometimes you can find people doing some things not something you thought about share this in the comment section let's enjoy our world together to be honest i think that i have provided you the average experience that you could get if you would go and take a look at some places yourself because you can accidentally see some good spots and think that yeah there is some progress or vice versa some abandoned places like from the 90s and you'll think like yeah russia is stuck in time
believe me, there are a lot of great parks and apartment blocks that I could have shown to you, but once again, this video is not about showing off yet the best places. Anyway, as always, it was Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, doing my best to show everything the way it looks. You are welcome to put a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you very much for your time, thank you very much for watching, see you next time. Bye.